ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு லேன் ஜாவா ஸ்கிரிப்ட் சீரியஸ் ஹியர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு வீ கேன் டூ ஃபார்ம் வேலிடேஷன் ஸோ வென் வேலிடேஷன் சக்சீட்ஸ் தேன் வி வில் அலோ தி ஃபார்ம் சப்மிஷன் அண்ட் இஃப் வேலிடேஷன் ஃபெயில்ஸ் வி வில் கேன்சல் தி டேட்டா சப்மிஷன் let's say we have a browser ie and we'll also consider we have a form that is displayed in your web address some radio button and this is a submit button all right so usually when you submit your form it will send the data from field data we can say to a server so the server can be anything it can be a jboss web server or in a it can be a ias web server anything so here there will be a server side script which will take care of the submitted data right so some field validation say for example there is a text box here right here let's say we are expecting a number so instead of typing a number uh, let's say user typed a uh, name here some alphabetical character uh, user typed here let's assume like that then they submitted it so the submitted data will go to web server in web server the server side script will check the Uh, validity of data and it will find that the input field is not having the number then it may respond back stating that the input field is not a number so it's a unnecessary round trip as this does not involve any database checking so let's say if there is a db in case of a username and a password for to check username exist then if username exist then uh, we may need to check the password matches with the entered username so that involves database transaction and web server is tied to database so that time the submission of data is uh, useful and uh, validation can be done on server side only but the formatting error like this so here we are actually expecting a, a number but the user typed something else so we no need to depend on server to check all this so what we can do we can use javascript to test that here locally at the client machine itself inside the browser itself we can check by making use of the uh, javascript so if you see so this is a this is one valid candidate for the validation inside the browser so here we can perform validation on the client machine itself let's say we have your form and the form will fire on submit event so for this on submit event we can put a return statement 
either true or false so from the answer we give and if uh, we say return true then the data will be submitted to the action file i mean the action target usually the action target will be in web server so the form data will be submitted to that action file but if we say cancel then uh, um, the on submit will be cancelled here we want to submit the data so that's the concept behind it and by making use of the javascript we can do this validation and when we are returning false so that time we can even uh, uh, raise a alert message and or we can place a red mark on the field which needs user attention we can even focus a field so that user came to know that validation is failed for that field all right now we will perform a validation um, and we will see a demo here in uh, ie so this is our example file um, before going to the script part let's go to in body we actually have a form and the form tag is opening here and it is ending here and you can see there are two input controls one is a text and we named it as a number a number then a default value is 650 then we have a submit button and here when you look at the form we are producing the action in the local html file itself but usually this should be the uh, web address of a server script which will tackle the form input all right so the action file at present uh, here just for testing purpose we are using the local file then method is a post and if you look at here we are handling the on submit then return we have to return true if you want to submit the data to the dummy action.html we have to say return false if we want to cancel the uh, submission of data to dummy action.html so here in this example again in this example the file is dummy action.html in real world it will be some server side scripting file and it will be a uh, HTTP web, web address of that server side script file all right now let us look at the validate number that means the validate number should return true when everything is right and when something is wrong it should return false so that's one thing and if you see for the validate number we are passing this here this refers the object javascript object so which javascript object form so here we are placing this inside the form element right so this refers the form all right now we will go to the validate number function and if you see the parameter we just named it as a number form and in the very first line you can see number form dot a number that means we are referring the field directly here with a dot notation previously if you saw we use uh, document dot get element by id but here we are not referring the document here we are referring the form that means we are referring the sub element of this form so that means we can get either this input text input or the submit button so here since we have a name we directly refer that field text field then value so this will return the value entered inside this uh, text box 
and we are storing that inside a variable and then first we are checking whether that field is empty so if that's the case then we give you alert message stating the input field is empty then we return false so when we return false from this validate number the on submit will read as a return false that means the form submission will get cancelled the same way so here this is NAN uh, it's a JavaScript function and we uh, this abbreviated notation actually the function name here is uh, is not a number so that's what we are checking so if the number is not a number then it will return true that means here we are saying that uh, that's not a valid number then if you see here we once again refer that text input field then we are making call to the function focus that means the cursor will go and stay inside this uh, form field and after that we are returning false form submission will get cancelled so the net result is uh, suppose if in this input field instead of a number anyhow by default it will show 650 in the input field but if the user erases this and uh, type something else say um, email id then that's not a valid number so they will see the error message stating that i mean the alert message stating that's not a valid number once they click ok the particular field get focus also after setting the focus this returns false that means the form submission will get cancelled so when the input field passes these two validation then we are returning true from this validate number function that means here in the on submit it will read as return true that means the form data these two input field uh, actually there is what only one input uh, uh, text content that will get submitted to the uh, dummy action dot html all right now let us look at dummy action dot html here in the dummy action dot html we doesn't do anything here we just say say javascript windows form submitted so that's the message you said we'll see means you entered a valid number in real world the form will be submitted to your server not to your local file like this yeah that's true all right uh, now we will execute this in IE so if you see by default we have a valid number if I click submit you see the uh, uh, action is taking place in a dummy action dot html now let's leave this as empty and let me click submit it says that the input field is empty okay here we are not setting the focus that's why we are not seeing the focus here let me put uh, something else here now the field is not empty but that's not a number and it got the focus also so this is how you can do uh, form validation